Hello, um, welcome to part two of my Jet Set Radio stream. Kind of hoping that I can keep the volume a bit louder this time uh, because I couldn't hear a lot of what was happening in the last stream. Um, so I've come armed with uh, a few more facts about um, Jet Set Radio Future this time because last time I was sort of embarrassingly, uh, embarrassingly underprepared um, and uh, didn't remember a lot about the game despite having played it before. Um, so I'm uh, a little more briefed in kind of where the, the game sits in relation to the first um, game in the series. Um, might be a bit too loud. Okay, let's, let's go with that. Um, yeah, so uh, the reason that... Oh, no. <laughs> Mean to do that. Uh, the reason that a lot of the um, characters have different names to the um, the original game is that uh, they are generally the Japanese names. Uh, so Tab in the Western release uh, was originally called Corn, uh, which is what he's called in this game. Um, same with uh, Mew, I think, was called Riv originally. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's my interesting fact. That's a weird noise. Um, yeah. So uh, I didn't get very far in Dogenzaka Hill. Uh, I'm going to switch to Riv this time. I think. Huh. So is it going to put me back in Dogenzaka Hill because that's where I saved it, or am I in? The garage. No, okay. Right, uh, yeah, so I kind of got a bit lost uh, in this area. Um, and I was able to kind of find my way up to the upper level, but where that red blob uh, is um, was kind of bewildering to me. So, I'm sure that there's just kind of one thing that I'm missing, uh, and I'll find it this time. Oh. 17 tricks, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. Right, well, <laughs> still kind of lost. Can I go through here? Is that where I can go? <laughs> yeah, so I've been thinking a bit about um, the structure of the game and the, the move away from a um, strictly level-based uh, system uh, into a more kind of semi-open world thing. Um, so this was the point at which a lot of games started moving towards open world. Uh, oh, maybe I need to go along here. No, nope, that's not what I need to do. <laughs> No. Um, yeah, so around this time there was the um, there was a Tony Hawk's underground game, I think, that was kind of largely open world, and there was um, SSX on tour, uh, which was weirdly open world as well. Um, and so I feel like there was kind of a move within the industry to do more of that kind of thing, which is why you have a system where you can't just say I want to go to this level and then start playing that level, um, but instead you have to kind of make your way from one level to the next. And I guess there's a certain element of, oh you have to learn the, uh, the levels. Maybe I just need to... 
Um, yeah, maybe that's. Oh no, but sorry, I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try. I could just do that, I guess. So yeah, I kind of find it a bit frustrating at the moment, but I'm guessing that once I know the levels a bit more, it might appeal a bit more to me. Who knows? Timing down. Oh, thanks. This is where you go in order to get rid in the first place. So, am I just being thick? Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to take me. Sorry, I swear I'm good at this game. <laughs> Not convincing anyone. Oh no! <laughs> Do I want to go back? <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should. Oh, yeah, okay. I should go back. So, there's a hint in the cutscene about talking to. Um, the uh, the girls from 99th Street. So I feel like I need to go there. Where is it though? Okay, yeah. It's past Ogunzaka Hill. So yeah, th there's that kind of gate, I guess, that Oh. So, can I go to 99th Street from here? So I've just gone around in a big circle. Where was I supposed to go? So it's, it's in the wrong place. No, what a waste. <laughs> okay, found it. So, sort of my plan. Um,
for the playthrough. I'll continue to is it going? Yeah, uh, so my plan is to not spend too much time uh, oh, anyway. hmm. uh, okay, so one of the things I read today was that the frame rate can really suffer on 360. I didn't think that would actually slow the game speed down. Uh, so that apparently there are certain characters that cause the frame rate to uh, lag more than others. I'm guessing Riff is one of those. Okay, here we go. Hello. Um, so to finish off my thought from, from earlier, um, my plan is to just sort of mainline it through the, the game, not spend too much time looking for um, secret characters, uh, which most of which you unlock by um, completing lots of challenges, uh, well, all the challenges in a in an area generally. This is not level, is it? Um, and then maybe at the end, if I do feel like unlocking everyone, um, kind of going back and kind of doing it off camera, and then um, uploading some videos with characters unlocked. It's not really very useful for finding your way around. I guess I want to sort of go in this direction. Is this... Yes, okay, this is what I want. Sorry, Fred, but uh, looks like I'm going to have to be... Squadron commander to all personnel. The youths appear to be in the area again. All personnel are awake in the briefing room. That's creepy. <laughs> Squadron commander to all personnel. The 
suspects have returned. If you get them in your sight, fire at will. This was what I was missing. Oh. I'm missing a technique for dealing with those without getting all shot to ribbons. I'm guessing. Using the grind rails is probably how you do it. I've uploaded the first part um, of my playthrough and I believe I've been content ID'd for anything so far, which is kind of surprising. Oh. I noticed um, in the footage from the previous video is that when I'm concentrating I have a tendency to sort of like my lower lip 
and it looks a bit weird. So I'm going to try and be more aware of that and do it less. Last thing I want is to be a weird dude. Oh, that's not good. Um, so I'm right, okay. Oh no! How did... Speed button in there, that's what that does. I'm guessing that the... Um... Uh, that the spray pa uh, spray cans in the levels respawn. Because otherwise I'm not sure how you solve the design issue of well, like, always needing spray cans to do stuff and having lots more ways of using them this time. This box. That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to put a test card on that. I might do. Right, I think that's fine. <laughs> That was fun. as much trouble with the original Jet Set Radio when I went back to it. I mean, a lot of clunkiness that I referred to in the first video appears to just be not knowing which rails to grind on. Oh, come on! Of Seems to be a bit higher up. Longer. I mean, it's up there, isn't it?
Something a lot more simple. Yeah, see. It. <laughs> so, um, I played uh, the original Jet Set Radio kind of around the same time that I got uh, Chiba Mato's um, uh, Be Hola Woman uh, album, uh, on which this album. Uh, in which this song features, and um, I remember being kind of listening to it and thinking, wow, this would not be out of place on Jet Set Radio. Um, it's a shame that they didn't include it, and then they went and included it in the uh, sequel, uh, and I was vindicated. Uh, okay. slide is or how to do it. Sort of assume that the lyrics to this are oh, you make me feel so gormless. Which Yeah, I guess. was also a sample that I used in my latest 
cock jam so uh, cock jam being kind of informal music jam that both uh, sorry, that James and I um, run where we um, make songs entirely using samples from Norman Cook's um, skip, skip to my loops sample CD which is where Hideki Nagaduma gets a lot of his samples from. Not all of them, but a good majority of them. Uh, and if you have the samples from that CD, um, you'll recognize a lot of them in the songs from Jet Set Radio. And um, it's worked on Sonic. Um, oh, what was the DS one? Sonic Rush. Now that I've got that out of the way, I can return to playing the game. Oh, slow motion, apparently. Um, yeah, so it is kind of weird that the focus of the game, like, I, I mean, I guess it's actual feedback um, from people was that uh, trying to um, spray graffiti and deal with police officers at the same time um, sort of becomes a bit frustrating and ends up um, with you running away instead of focusing on the gameplay I guess um, and they seem to have attempted to fix that in this game by just oh, hang on, I'm gonna get that um, by just putting the um, police stuff into its own segments and splitting it off from the graffiti gameplay Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, whether it's an improvement or not. So it's really hard to see stuff that you need to be spraying as you grind because of the way that the camera just sort of like shakes around like a lunatic. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Right. timing for um, performing a, like an aerial stunt after a fast jump. Um, so you do like one trick and then you can follow that up with another one and sometimes I seem to mess up the timing of it. Like that. <laughs> um, Just 
going to the bottom, that's the best way of doing it. No. Oh yeah, I can do it. This way. <laughs> this is physical impossibility. Again. Sweet move speed. Okay, well, it's not how I wanted to do it, but it is what I wanted to do, so I'll take it. So the graffiti spraying stuff seems to be at odds with the um, the trick doing stuff. Wait, what? Hmm. What are you doing? I'm going back to Chuo Street. Okay, so the red blobs are presumably graffiti souls. Have I got 25 graffiti souls? So here I am spamming the spray button and I probably only need to be holding it down. Good to know I guess. Can I go this way, it's this way that I can go. reason as to why beat just turns around. There's no feeling in it. Let's see how all of the animations link together in slow motion.
think I'm gonna switch characters again. Back to the girl with the weird ah. And the pants, of course, the pants. Go back here then. Well, I can't see any indication that I shouldn't be here. Aside from the fact that I'm confused as all piss as to where to go. This, this does seem to be where I have to go, except that I can't because it's not open. Anything else is a red herring? Street, I guess. I don't have to do that. Yeah, so to to my point earlier about it being kind of confusing where you're supposed to be going, uh, I think this. Well, um, I mean, my point specifically was about how the open worldness of it makes it confusing uh, where you have to go. Um, I think this indicates that point fairly well. from the garage, come on. Do this, I guess. This is Chuo Street, the heart of Tokyo's entertainment district. Now get out there and burn poison gym, nasty graffiti and paint. HK to all 
squads. A gang has been spotted near Chua Street. All squads to investigate. Repeat. This is how I see the HQ. Send in all the tanks. Understood. HQ to armored division. To all tanks. tanks prepare for emergency deployment. Frank's still not right here most of the time. Yeah, okay, so that's so much easier than just constantly spamming. So I haven't changed my graffiti yet. Go back up. What a pump. Oh, I guess I'll just do all of the graffiti here. Seems to be a big line of it. Division to HQ. We have acquired the target and are commencing attack. The 
streets are turning into a demilitarized zone. I don't think them combat vehicles have to obey traffic signs. Take out them nasty iron behemoths. Using spray paint. Oh, yeah, okay. Tag on the sides of it. Okay, yeah. Now make a graffiti on the freaky guy standing on the top. It's a bit discriminatory. Might not be an actual freak. An easier way of going up. Okay. 
He's dead. Actually died from graffiti. So I think I'll finish this level and then call it a day. So just one more. Sounds kind of disgusting. <laughs> This 
as the most sort of civilized clash between gangs, where they just stand there and wait for you to talk to them, and then they do a bit of skating. Beat us in this race, and we won't mess with you anymore. Which is chosen? Yes, is chosen. Next thing you know, you will be all crying like a baby. Right. Oh. I can do this. <laughs> I don't think it was pathetic. Right, so now I can go to Rokaku Dai Heights. Hello, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I love the walk animations for everyone that's not you. You. No one knows how to deal with a booty. Um, I guess I'll go back to the terminal then. I mean, I could save it here. on the back of cars anymore. Oh, oh for crying out loud. Okay, so I'm going to hit Roboy up and then, uh, and then stop. Hello, yo yo. No. 
I'm missing. Right, that's how I go up. I will maybe look into the graffiti stuff next time. So yeah, I've probably unlocked quite a few things so far. Can make my own graffiti, I guess. Uh, just now, I guess. <laughs> that. I never liked that one. That one just looks rude. Uh, I'm going to go with this. Classic. A number of these were in the first game. Okay, well, thanks for watching me stream. Bye.